Welcome back to She Living. I am your host, Angela. And today I'm giving you some series or a docu-series to watch during quarantine or isolation or self-quarantine or shelter in place or lockdown, whichever state you're in, city you're in, and whichever mandate that they have put you on. These are some of my favorite things. I'm looking at the light. I was trying to look at Don't look at it. Anyway. Yeah, these are some of my favorite um, series or things like, oh, okay, that was interesting. Um, yeah. So let's go. The first one is Kevin Hart, Don't F This Up. And I really, first of all, I love to watch um, stories. I want to hear people's stories. I like to watch people's stories. I am a very huge fan of documentaries and docuseries. So uh, Kevin Hart's uh, docuseries was very uh, inspirational and motivational. And you just, you know, you got a really good look of like who he really is. And yeah, Kevin Hart, don't F this up. That's on Netflix. And all of these are Netflix. Oh, hence my background. Okay. Anywho. <laughs> um, the next one is a family reunion. A really fun show. Me and my husband watch it. It's um uh, actually filmed in front of a live studio audience. Do y'all remember uh shows that was you know filmed in front of a live studio audience and you actually Heard the laugh opposed to now. Um, sitcoms have laughing tracks, which is so annoying because it's too many, they place too many in there for me. But I digress anyway. Uh, Family Union is starred uh, Loretta Devine and Tia Mari, and they just they have this family that, um. Tia and her husband move and the, the kids move in with uh, Loretta Devine's character, which is like my dear. And it's just funny. It's clean, fun. It's called Family Reunion. Okay. The next one is The Tudors. I actually did not think I was going to like this. Okay. I thought I wasn't going to like it because it just comes straight out the gate. With uh, sex and violence and nudity and whew, it's a lot, but it's interesting. <laughs> it is very interesting, and it tells the story of uh, King Henry the Eighth. Um, and he has uh, like five or six wives, and it just it just takes you on the whole journey of his reign. So, and it was. Four, four seasons, and I've been watching it um, on and off for like a week. Yeah, and my husband and I like it. The Tudors, and let me know if you watched any of these um, series or um, docu series, and let me know what what you all thought of them. That one is the Tudors, okay? And the next one is All American. I like instantly um, fell in love with um, this uh, series, and I'm like I'm new to it, so but hey, uh, it it comes on the network CW, and I guess they finna come out with the fourth, know, but I'm not. I just I don't know, but I saw it on Netflix. Uh, that it was like trendy and it's a cool thing that Netflix has started doing like they let you know what's number one and what's number two number three and so forth as far as what people are watching and it kind of puts that that show or that movie or that documentary right you know, on your home page so All American is based on um, inspired by a true story. Uh, it's about a football player, his upbringing, upbringing, um, in the uh, Crenshaw. I mean, it, it it's just it's just a good show. It's it's a really good show, but it 
got a lot of secrets and struggle. Yeah, it's good. And it's around um, mostly teenage children. Um, but it's a really good story. And uh, you're going to be up. Uh, um, yeah, it's, it's really good. So that is all American. Uh, then the last one I have is self made. I really enjoyed, um, the docuseries, uh, based on Madam CJ Walker. Um, she was, um, said to be the first, um, uh, multimillionaire, um, with the hair products. So, I mean, it's funny. It's going to make you, you know, mad because it was, uh, back in those times of, um, slavery. She had a dream and she went for it. So, yeah, those are the five, um, series that I suggest to watch during quarantine. Um, all American. The Tudors, Family Reunion, Self Made, and Kevin Hart. Don't F this up. So, yeah. And I'll probably come back next week with some things I think you should watch on Hulu. So, yeah. Let me know what you think. And let me know have you watched any of these shows. Let me know what you thought about them. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.